In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. The darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let, let there, there be, be light. light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day. day. And the darkness he called night. night. So the evening and the morning were the, the first. first day. of the storm. He covers me with an umbrella, but it doesn't mean the wind and the rain will not affect me. I will stand firm and will not fall. I may bend, I will not break. My roots are planted firmly in the ground and will not fail me. The storm may cause me to bend, shake, rattle, but I will not be uprooted from my firm foundation. Pain has a purpose to propel you upward or downward. You choose. Choose upward. Let it propel you like a rocket upward to the next level higher than you imagined. Don't let it submerge you like a submarine. Let it elevate you like a periscope. See your future differently through a different lens. Pain has a purpose, my friend. I want you to think about something from a different perspective. Sometimes you have to look at things differently. So think about this. Three people are running. One falls behind, one stops to help and encourage the one who has fallen behind. I'm the one who stops and helps the one who has fallen behind. Which one are you? Are you the encourager? Are you the one who has run off? Or are you the one who has fallen behind? <laughs> God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. So the earth, the evening and the morning were the, the second. second day. forgive the unforgivable. Stop waiting for the apology that is never coming. Stop asking why, because I learned it was more about them than it was about me. I had to stop rehearsing what they did and realize understanding what they did was never going to make sense. Forgiveness is releasing the bondage. Forgiveness does not mean that you accept what they did. It means you release the power it has over you. Forgiveness opens the door to freedom. Walk through it. God, 
Your connections and pathways are divine. Continue to connect me in divine ways. Today, I heard a lot of emergency sirens. I need to be a responder and not a reactor. Responders are calm, thinkers, and helpful, and they have a solution. They bring peace. Reactors are stressed. They have no plan. They are reactionary. They choose chaos and cause chaos. They are not helpful. They bring stress. <laughs> waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called seas and God saw that it was good yes it was good but that's not all then God said let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. in the Miss Junior pageant. It was called Dare to be Different. It's funny, I still have the VHS tape to prove it. One of the requirements was to perform a talent. Now, I'm not a singer. I do not play an instrument, nor am I a trained dancer, although I do like to dance. So I decided to do an oration. Um, you know, why not? I have the gift of gab, and I had won an oratorical contest in high school for a scholarship. Well, who would have thought that that oration back in college would actually speak volumes decades later in my life? I wrote, I spoke the poem written by uh, Natoze Shange, um, who wrote the poem for colored girls who considered suicide when the rainbow was enough. The poem was called, Somebody Almost Walked Off With All of My Stuff. If you're familiar with her work, or her poems, or even the, the movie, it speaks to the fact that somebody almost walked off with all of her stuff. It talks about how they took advantage of her kindness, her love, and her goodwill. They played her for a fool, and then had the audacity to try and steal her stuff. Now, physically, sometimes we do lose our stuff. Sometimes it's material things that we do lose. Sometimes we don't even realize someone is stealing from us. They are slick with their sweet talk, their stealth-like behavior, and they are chameleon with their ways. And truthfully, our rose-colored glasses are permanently affixed on our face. Until one day, we wake up, we roll over, the rose-colored glasses are shattered, and we start to see clearly. And we realize some of our stuff is missing. It's even stolen. We are sitting in an empty room wondering, thinking and contemplating, 
What did I miss? How did I get here? In life, people steal from us. But the important thing to remember, they cannot steal our authentic identity, our dignity, our joy, or our worthiness. They cannot steal our God-given right to be loved, respected, and treated honorably in a non-abusive environment. They cannot steal our story, or our destiny, or the blessings that God has for us. Once we realize that there is a thief amongst, amongst us, we can put in place theft deterrent devices. Set your alarm to alert you to an intruder, change the locks, take protective measures, and fight to keep it. In my case, somebody almost walked off with all of my stuff. But he can't sell my worth on the street, and he will not get a return on his investment. Because what he stole does not make it his, it makes it stolen. Divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, signs and, and seasons, seasons for, and days for days and, and years. years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And, and it, it was, was so. Then God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day. day and the lesser light to rule the night. night. He made the stars too. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it, it was good. good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. for a while not physically but metaphorically everyone knows what laryngitis is it's a physical inflammation of your voice box from overuse irritation or infection it causes you to become hoarse or lose your voice and your throat hurts sometimes you feel as if your throat is closing in yes I had laryngitis I lost my voice I couldn't speak up for myself. Somehow my words could not come forth. My voice longed to speak, scream even, but nothing would come out. Now it's strange. I like to talk. I am outspoken. I'm a fighter. I will even write a letter to show my disdain for something in a heartbeat. 
But somehow along this journey of life in this particular situation, I lost my voice. I allowed something to quiet my voice. I allowed a situation to shut me up. Somewhere, somehow, laryngi laryngitis took hold and became chronic. Situations that are chronic are long lasting and difficult to eradicate. The medical treatment for laryngitis is usually silence and rest, but I had had enough silence. My treatment was to get my voice back. I had to get a shovel and dig and dig and dig deep and find that voice that was so vocal in all situations except for the one that stole my voice. Something about digging, the more you dig, the more you find. And the more you find, the stronger you get. Slowly, my voice got stronger, it got louder. Oh, you hear me now. You never know what you have until you have lost it and you are desperately trying to get it back. In my case, it was my voice. It's back. Can you hear me now? creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind and God saw that it, it was, was good and God blessed them saying be, be fruitful, fruitful and, and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth so the evening and the morning were the fifth day creative, I am divine, I am funny, I am all that, I am everything, and I am fearlessly authentic. Be inspired.
God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth, each according to its kind. And it was, was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and, and over, over every all creeping, creeping thing, thing that creeps on the earth. Wait, dominion? Yes, dominion. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male, Male and, and female, female he, he created, created them. them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be, Be fruitful and, and multiply. multiply. Fill, Fill the, the earth, earth and, and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, See, I've given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you it shall be for food. Also, to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life, I have given you every green herb for food. And it was well, so. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. So the, the evening, evening and the morning were the sixth day. serve a God that is worthy to be praised. I come tonight giving him that honor. Let us come boldly to his throne where we will find his grace. Lord, I want to say you are worthy. You are the light and the air that I breathe, I come in reverence, you are my king. Lord, I want to say you are worthy.